Let's spin it up. Welcome. Happy New Year's Eve. We are going to be doing an activation to step into new identity, new identity, new love, new perspective. I've had a great breakfast, wonderful meditation. I am ready to help you step into love and light. It's going to be a mini piece of what's going to happen at a retreat. So if you really want to anchor it, come the 12th, 11th, and 13th online to our uh, Rediscovering You retreat. Welcome. Let me know where you're at from in the world. Welcome. We are going to be doing a beautiful activation today. Welcome. Welcome. So we're going to make this interactive so it's super, super, um, we are going to rock this out. Who's ready to transform their life? Say yes if you're ready to leap. Letting go of that old way of looking at life, that old identity, that old acceptance level, that old stuff, that old not enoughness, that old not limiting blah, blah, blah. Old let go, let go, let go. Right? Say yes, yes, let's go. Yes, please, yes. Say yes. Let's join in the energy now. So if you're here for this quantum shift, go ahead and say yes. Together we're stronger. Yes, Melinda, yes. So we're going to keep jamming in the music as we do this practice. We're going to start jumping in this practice. Woo. Woo. If you don't know me yet, welcome. If you know me, welcome back. So my name is Dr. Lisha Antica. I am a transpersonal therapist and I help people reclaim their identity after abuse. And so today's practice is going to be about your identity, about shifting. I also work in the quantum realm. I work with the angels and guides. I work with your awesomeness, okay? I truly work with your awesomeness to step into how amazing you are, into your truth, your identity, your freedom. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes some work. <laughs> and so today we're going to quantum jump some of that work. I hope to help you break through barriers. Anything that you're willing to release, we will break through today. This I can promise you, right? Those identities that you're fighting for, you're making excuses for, you're saying that you can't, you won't, blah, blah, blah. Like you get to keep. Okay. So I am not, um, here to make you shift anything that you're fighting to keep i can't right you have free will over all of this this is not like magic this is truly an identity shift this is a quantum level identity shift um we will be doing more of this if you like this and you want to know more about going further and really anchoring in the shifts that you see perceive or want i'm doing 47 dollars last day to get it for 47 dollars. i'm doing an event the 12th 13th and 14th three days join right now to anchor and activate everything that we're doing today you click my link Click my link tree and it's the first link. You can also go to my website, lishaantica.com and join there. It's the last day to get it for $47 and you get to invite a friend, right? So if you want a quantum shift and anchor these actions into actionable steps, really embracing your amazing self, that's my gift to you today to really support you do this. My mission is to help a million people in the next year shift their life shift their lives and step into the yesness of your truth no matter what the fuck the world's been telling you we shift our reality our mind and we shift the world around us the world shifts for us janelle's welcome 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 all right 2023 so the first thing that we're going to do is we tap into this vortex we are going to prepare the table so this is like setting the table for your meal all right and and we're just going to clean up from from the last one okay have your journal 
Welcome, 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 welcome to this quantum shift, releasing the identity of 2023, claiming all of your gifts and what you know, and then we're going to do the activation. So 2023, go ahead and write it on the top of your page. The first thing, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that you might have already done this homework. So if you already did it, just grab it and just sit with it for a minute. We're only going to take a couple minutes to do this. I don't want you to think too much about this. It's not about getting into the story or, or telling yourself anything. It's about deep realizations. I, I'm going to share with you some stories, however, so you can identify like what I'm asking you to do. Because sometimes if you don't know, it's hard to do it. Okay, so first I want you to look at what lessons came up in your life. And many lessons come up in two realms. Lessons usually come through um, physical experiences. So um, a lesson for me this year, this year I was diagnosed with paranormal invasion cancer. And it came um, at, and on my back, I had a big surgery, and then I had six weeks of radiation. And perineural is cancer of the nerve. And what that taught me is things that are getting, that get on my nerves, I, I wasn't speaking up for. I let things get on my knee, nerves. The other thing is it was stabbing in my back. It was like a stab in my back and twisting right behind my heart. And I had let a lot of people talk shit and I closed my mouth and I didn't defend myself. I let a lot of people take advantage of me and I gave discounts and I gave things away and I didn't claim my worth or my value most of my life. I've been scared of not being liked and I've been scared of being the, the bad guy. And so I allowed people to um, have problem with me with total acceptance where I was never allowed to have problems with other people. Okay. So these are the things that I, um, that were attached. These are the lessons that I learned this year about my own personality, right? And the ways that I was shortcoming myself. Um, and that, I was stabbing myself in the back, which I believe developed in me having cancer. Okay. Nerve cancer, things on my nerves. Okay. Cancer on my nerves. So in order to heal that, and I, now I have a chip on the shoulder. I just found out last week. I have more, more spots over here. Um, that who knows what they're going to do, but they're going to remove them shortly. Um, I have some chips on my shoulder, right? I have some, some anger, some stuff that, that used to get me through, right? Playing nice used to get me through. Um, being able to take the fault for everything and being the bad guy, because I could look at me being the bad guy, I can accept that. Um, I can accept that, in, not in a way that feels good, but in a way that is self-deprecating and crappy, actually. But it was normal for me. I got to do that. I learned how to do that as a coping mechanism growing up. Those are things that I'm healing now, right? So we are, um, we are going to... We're going to do this, right? We are going to um, shift things. So I'm going to give you five minutes to kind of look at your life, what things showed up physically for you, or the other way that things show up is in your environment, right? So if somebody would um, misunderstand you and construe your words or... Um, Let's see, like my environment was pretty good. So I saw shifts in my environment this year of worthiness, right? More people showed up that saw me, that appreciated me, a lot more appreciation than I've ever gotten. Um, more um, abundance and freedom that I've ever gotten, more opportunities to go places and do things that I've ever gotten. So the lesson there counteracted what was going on in my physical body, right? So my physical body was ready to heal. All right, I got the cancer cut out, I got the radiation ready to heal, and my environment was showing me the different reality. Does that make sense? I know it's kind of heavy, but we work here in trauma. So um, we're gonna give you a minute, and you can you can write. So go ahead and write down the lessons that you got 
about yourself in the world this year? Perfect. Okay, so that's what you learned. So if you have like one theme there, right? Go ahead and write that theme down. And write down if it's an identity that you're shifting out of or an identity that you're shifting into, or maybe you have one of both, okay? Then we're gonna do gratitude. So gratitude is an emotion that is so powerful. And if you've been following me for a bit, you know, and I'm definitely in the Rediscovering Me retreat, the 12th, 13th, and 14th, um, we're gonna be doing a lot of practices on anchoring in this gratitude because we can quantum shift with it. Um, oftentimes, for people that are going through um, a shift from trauma or from self-deprecation into self-love, there's this identity that we hang on to that says, I'm not enough. Or, um, and that identity makes excuses why we should stay stuck. It can be I'm broke. It can be I don't have the time. It can be, well, he hurt me. It can be she hurt me. It can be it, it, whatever this excuse, whatever the reason is. And it's not that those reasons are invalid. It's that those reasons keep you stuck. What if it can be that and? What if it can be that or something different? And so um, in this gratitude, I want you to think about what you're grateful for this year, right? And if what comes up are things that you're not grateful for, right? If that's what your brain goes to is, oh, I'm not grateful for this or that or this or that, then I want to just invite you to look at that and be like, okay, what part of my identity am I ready to let go in order to find something to be grateful for, right? So say that you want, I'm going to touch on the three major things. Say that you want more health and you can't be, you can't be grateful. You feel like you can't be grateful for your body because your body is somehow not healthy, right? Um, so my example here, of course, um, was the experience of cancer this year and radiation, and I gained 20 pounds. Now, in that whole experience, I used to be bulimic. I used to have body dysmorphia. I used to work out four to five hours a day, literally. My entire worth was what weight on the scale, and I used to measure my body fat. Okay, now this was like 15 years ago, but it was real. 2009, I think, is when um, I really realized no matter how thin and awesome I get, even in the healthiest ways, I will, I, I can't make everybody happy. I was 12% body fat, and my husband said that I was too fat, right? And I, that's like when the switch went off, and I was like, I'm done. And I hadn't been bulimic in many years by that point. But that said, all of that, I get, I'm 160 pounds, and you know what? I still love my body. Would I feel better in my clothes if they weren't skin tight? Absolutely. <laughs> but I still love my body. I'm not self-deprecating. I'm not hurting myself. I'm, I'm not over-dieting. I'm, I'm not bad-mouthing myself. I'm not negative thinking. I'm not anything. I have compassion for my body. That's healing. For me and my genetic family timeline, my parents, how I was raised, how women looked at their bodies and value and worth, like that is huge. This is huge, huge for me and my healing. So I am so grateful for my body. I'm grateful that my body can heal. Um, you can also look at, so two, the second thing, so that's health. The second thing might be finances. So finances is really typical. So you might want more money, right? And you're like, well, I'm not making money. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing this, there's no money. What could you what could you be grateful for? What's the gains that you've gained on not feeling in poverty, right? Um, of standing in your worth and your value, of of saying yes to different things, of like what could you learn? What around you? Like she's like somebody said earlier. Sorry, I can't remember who exactly said it, um, but one of you said, "You know, be happy for what I have." Right. So what are you happy for what you have right now? 
right? Where are you leaning into the abundance, into that new opportunity, into the joy? Where have you accepted your value and your worth in a different way, right? So that's huge. So you can do gratitude in that way, right? What are you grateful for? Um, and then romance. Romance is a big one. Have you learned to love yourself? Maybe you have a love of your life. Where have you learned to um, communicate better this year? Where have you learned, are you clear on what you want in romance, right? Um, I don't know what your romance looks like, but what does that look like for you? Okay, so these are different ways that you can look at from what's not working and shift it into what is working into your gratitude, right? Well, ugh, because I know what I don't want in a partner, I know how to recognize a narcissist. I know how to recognize somebody who's not ready for a relationship. I know how to not attach to somebody that, um, hasn't attached to me. I know how to stand in my worth. I know how to say no and not go out. I know how to um, do things on my terms. Like whatever that looks like, what would that look like to you? Okay. So I hope this is all making sense. Let's do two songs um, of gratitude. Whenever you're done, say done. Thank you for the share, Stace. So we're gonna get through the song, keep writing in your journals or on here, what you're grateful for, feel that gratitude. Begin noticing where the gratitude is held in your body. Let's anchor and ground into this gratitude. Where do you feel gratitude in your body? What emotion, like what energy senses? So I feel it in my pelvis, right? Down there, I feel it in my heart for sure. I feel it behind my eyes, like right in my third eye. Hey, gratitude, where do you feel it? Where do you embody gratitude? Would you give gratitude any other word of explanation? Keep saying two, I see all of you. I'm gonna shift this music here. And we are gonna go into this practice. So this, we're gonna take those lessons learned, right? The things, hello, Pam. The things that you're ready to release and to let go, the identity, the old identity, the excuses that held that identity, the illnesses that held that identity, the lessons that held that identity, that wish things were different in my life that held that identity. And we are gonna shift that now. Hello, Nikki. Hello, hello, yay. So you guys, we are reaching our crew. The family is coming in. We are about to start a quantum shift. So this is an identity practice, you guys. This is a quantum shift. We're gonna be doing more of this on in the Rediscovering Me series um, retreat here online, January 12th through the 14th. Registration is $47 right now. It ends tonight. The price will go up to 222. I'm still praying about it, but it will go up tonight. So if you haven't joined, um, and you want to, if you want to go through this identity shift, um, do that. If you're working with me, awesome. If you're not working with me, awesome. That's going to be great. Either way, you are going to learn so much. And we're going to build on practices like this, but we're going to go into this now. So I'm going to shift the music. The last practice as we go into this is um, write down what you desire more of. So this is your wants, right? We get to want things. So what in 2024 do you desire more of? So that's the next lesson, the next, the next key. So we wrote down what we learned, what we're grateful for, and now what, what you want more of. So the last piece is what you want more of, get clear of, right? More love, more health, more abundance, more, you know, more people to serve, more um, opportunities, more, respect more truth we're gonna light some candles i'm gonna shift the music i went right down the last piece of this practice as we prepare to anchor anchor into respect money love yes yes so patrick let's whittle down what does that look like what does respect look like to you what's that next level look like to you what does what what amount of money a penny right if i gave you this if i gave you this coin right now if i was like here here's 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 more money right there it is i asked for more money for many years and i would get more money in different things 
Now I'm asking for specific amounts. Yeah. Some frankincense and myrrh, you guys. Some wealth and prosperity. Some health. So health, finances, and love, you guys. Write one goal down for each. And be specific. We're going to start activating all of this. So as I light this, call in your relationship with God's source. You are one with the all. So call in your relationship with God's source, your angels, your guides, any support and help you need to make this be a beautiful and lovely transition for your peace, your harmony, your joy, and... Um, really honoring who you desire to be. Really think about all those things that you just wrote down, the lessons that you've learned this year to embody, to let go, to honor, the gratitude and how well you learn and see and are grateful for things that are around you and that energy of gratitude and acceptance and joy and what you desire, what you want. And begin opening up to the experience of being, of being the person that you are required to be in order to step into receiving easily and effortlessly what you want easily and effortlessly what you want who would you have to be right who would you get to be oh it went off of youtube would you get to be somebody that is that eats healthy that works out that moves their body that speaks kindly to themselves that builds themselves up right what would you get to learn to know that you are enough, that you are worthy. How would a person worthy and full of their enoughness, how would they walk through their days? How would they walk through their lives? To be somebody full of love. How would you be? So we're going to light this candle and my intention with this light is that you are the light. You step into the person that easily and effortlessly accepts the responsibility of treating yourself as if all of your wants on that list happen easily and effortlessly that you act accordingly if you want success that you go out and you do the things that successful people do if you're asking for money that money shows up for you because you go out and do the things that you feel guided to do if you're asking for health that you live your healthiest life If you're asking for romance, that you go and you, you date with standards and boundaries. If you're asking for friendships, you go out and you meet people and you mingle. If you're asking for adventure, you go out and you, you travel and you buy the plane tickets and you stop making excuses to why not and how come. You find a way. You figure it out. You're resourceful. You're a survivor. You're resourceful. Stop using your resources to survive and stop pretending like all these excuses have power over you. You get to step into the person that uses your resources to make things happen for you. How do you take that class? How do you travel the world? How do you study with that person? How do you make things happen for you? How do you go out and reach love? If you're not begging for it, how do you say, no, I have standards and you don't get to treat me that way. Goodbye next. How do you treat yourself? Do you come into a relationship thinking that you're lucky to have them or are they lucky to have you or both? 
where are you? Stand in that gift. We're going to light this candle as you step into that calling in source, God. However you see it. For you. Yes, Janice. For you. So you are one. You are one with universe. You are one with truth. You are one with light. You are the one with possibility. You have a body. You are not your body. You have a brain. You are not your brain. You have emotions. You are not your emotions. And you have experiences. You are not your experiences. You are the master of your domain. You get to choose what you eat, what you drink, and how you move each day in your beautiful body. You get to choose how you think, how you react, what you assume, and what ex behaviors and beliefs you accept from other people each and every day. You get to choose what you do to make you happy, to make you joyous, to make you this. You get to choose how you handle hard feelings like failures, lessons, shame, guilt. You get to choose how you process your emotions. They don't get to choose you. You get to choose what has authority and what you manifest in your life, your etheric field. You get to choose what you want and how you get there. You get to choose. You can change your identity at any moment in time because you are the guiding light of your vessel, of your life. If you spend your life worrying about what others think about you, let it go. If you've spent your life worrying about how to be a good person while taking other people telling you this and that, giving them authority, let it go. You get to choose how to be a good person. It's your level, it's your morals, your values. You are your compass. You are your true north. Call on source God, spirit. Call on source God, spirit, your guides. Love and light. Closing your eyes now. This is a closed eyes experience from this moment forward. Closing your eyes. Closing your eyes. And if you're at work or someplace and you can't close your eyes, just listen. Take a breath. And feel your body. Imagine a light from your belly, your solar plexus, golden light anchoring down, getting deeper into a beautiful orange, going down deeper into a bright red, all the way down, anchoring down, down, down into Mama Earth, anchoring you, your spirit, through your body, into Mama Earth, where all things that you need are provided for, just like the sparrow. Just like the animals, you are worthy. And from that same center of golden light, feel that light come up through your heart to a beautiful life given green into your throat to beautiful blue into your third eye, and your pituitary and pineal glands through a beautiful, beautiful purple and all the way up through your crown. Beautiful white light all the way up into heaven. Closing your eyes, feeling more and more relaxed. With your eyes closed, take your eyes, your pupils, and look up towards your hairline. As if you're rolling your eyes in the back of your head, 
look up and breathe going into that nice rim and imagine yourself now looking back into the center of your head where there's a beautiful chamber your chamber of wisdom and knowledge the chamber connects to all of the past and all of the future notice which way is the past and which way is the future taking a deep breath knowing that you are secure and safe knowing that you can come in and out of this practice allowing your mind to go and coming back to your breath if your mind takes you away into thoughts that is okay let's come back to your breath knowing that we're working on the subconscious and soul level now I ask for your permission to work with your soul level. The part of you that has a body, but is not the body. That has thoughts, history, memory and ideas and expectations, but are not them. That has emotions and feelings and integrations, but aren't them. That has authority and lives within the authority of the world but is not of them i ask to work with your soul and for your soul to reclaim authority over all things in your bubble visualizing around you from this place in the center of your mind a line between your head and your heart Connecting your soul, anchoring it into your heart, and anchoring it into your guts, knowing that your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions will now align and attune to all the things that you choose. Feeling your breath, noticing as the identity that you are letting go of comes up, it might have a little fight. Stories of reasons why it shouldn't leave, can't leave. Why you can't quantum jump into a different reality. All these limitations we're gonna release, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Back to dirt and go. Feeling your breath, exhale. Visualize around you, the space outside of you, where there is a bubble and this is your dominion. This bubble, this is your etheric field. Notice if there's any rips and tears. You can ask Archangel Hariel, or any other angels that you feel attuned to, to help you seal any Fields where energy has been sucked out or you've given away your power this year. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Closing off any fields to anything that sucks your energy. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Thoughts, beliefs, or people. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. This timeline or any other timelines. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Filling your heart. Notice your heart. You can bring your hand to your heart. You are a body. You have a body. You are not your body. You have a body. You are not your thoughts. You have thoughts. You are not your emotions. You have emotions. Your emotions are energy in motion. You can feel those energies moving through your body, through your thoughts, and into your etheric field, magnetizing towards you all of those beliefs if you have had feelings that are heavy deep stuck we transmute them now dissolve resolve transform transmute adding acceptance and love to them now adding acceptance and love to them now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth adding acceptance and love now you do not have to be christian or believe in jesus for jesus to help you 
And this is not a religious thing, just I work with Jesus. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Reclaiming authority over your field. Add into this what you desire and what you want. What you desire and what you want now. Begin imagining all those things that you put on your list that you desire and that you want for your new year. Feeling your desires and feeling your wants. Feeling them magnetize into your bubble, into your reality, easily and effortlessly. I know we had $150,000 in there. We've had a lot of love, a lot of health, a lot of comfort in your body. Add it into the group. Who are you? What does it change in your emotional body? You have it. It is you now. How are you treating yourself? Does your physical body need to act? See a picture in front of you. Imagine with your eyes closed that picture in front of you. What you've asked for, you have. Anything in its way, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. What ideals do you need to let go? What is coming up? The excuse of why it can't happen. Timeline. This world, that world. Any excuses, any reasons why not? Go ahead and see them, accept them. And you can use them as information of what resources you need, what you need to learn, what steps you need to take. Or you can simply look at them and say, I rebuke you. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. And dissolve and resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Beautiful. Taking a nice deep breath, coming back into the heart center. Filling your awareness from the center of your heart. Notice how you feel in this present moment and bring yourself into this present moment, noticing your breath. And we're gonna go into the quantum jumping motion of this experience and activation. As you release the past in 2023 and even years prior to stories of your identity, things that you like, things that you don't, things that you see, things that you don't, even things that you don't even know that you don't know, generational things you can let go. The willingness is to let go, to see and to let go. Looking as if you're standing in your heart, imagine yourself there and see the past this year, lessons that you've learned, things that you're grateful for, new ways of being that you've upgraded and ways of being that you've let go. Seeing the past for all that it was, all that it is, and all that it ever will be. See yourself fully as the person of the past with love and with compassion, with understanding. And imagine you in that moment past, just looking at you, just standing there beside you in your heart and come back to the present. And then looking to that future identity, look to your future from your desires and your wants, your health, your wealth, your love. See yourself as clearly as possible, allowing the milestones to come to you. 
What would it look like? What daily habits do you have? What thoughts do you think and things do you tell yourself? What emotions do you feel and build? What are you doing to build those emotions? What habits do you have to create more joy and peace and love, happiness and fun and excitement in your life? Filling your breath. Seeing that picture of you in the future. We're gonna collapse time here. Seeing that picture of you in the future as clearly as possible. Maybe three months out, maybe a year out. Where your wants and your desires, your goals are coming true. They're there. They're yours. You've already accomplished them. You are success. You are healthy. <sighs> You are happy. You have a new relationship with yourself, a new identity. Excuses be gone, reasons be gone, and you just step towards your goals with more ease and effortlessness, one step at a time, one day at a time, one moment at a time. Easier and easier. And inhale and exhale, coming back to the center in your heart, feeling this present moment. And knowing that in this next part, you can keep whatever you want and you can release everything that you want. You don't have to cognitively know it. It's asking spirit, God, source to help. Your soul self knows all. I'm letting go. Look at that old identity. The identity that might need to be fixed. The identity that might hold shame. The identity that might feel the need for, for more, not enough. The identity that struggles. The identity and that is proving. The identity that is unhealthy. The identity that is scared. The identity that is proving. The identity that is all of those things. Maybe you were taught as a child. Maybe you were taught in a bad marriage. Maybe you just believed because that's how the world was. Maybe you're of an ethnic group that the whole world treated negatively. Whatever that is, let go. Whatever you're willing to, let go. Go ahead and ask God's source to come down and let that identity dissolve right here, right now. You don't have to do anything, be anything, prove anything, say anything, shift anything. Just let it go. Energetically, let it go. With love and light, let it go. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. With love and light, with love and light and healing, to go be healed, to go be loved, to get exactly what it needs to be full and fresh and enough and lovely and seen and heard. Let it go. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Let it go. See it floating away into the light with love. <sighs> with love, letting it go. All the things that you've fought for that have keeping you stuck, all the excuses that have keeping you stuck and your reasons to stay miserable, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend, all of that, let it go. Let it go. With love and acceptance, let it go. And when you feel that move forward, come back to self. Feel there might be a little bit of emptiness there in your life, in your bubble. If there's any fear that comes up, 
Just ground and root through that cord, feeling yourself. You have a body, you are not a body. You have a mind, you are not a mind. You have emotions, you are not the emotions, and you have an etheric field, people, authority in it, and you are not them. Releasing all of that, create and own this space. And look forward to that part of you that you're stepping into, the identity that you chose, the identity that you choose. The identity that you are stepping into, the health, the wealth, the love, the enough. Notice what you look like, what you feel like, who you are, and begin inviting that energy. Three months out, five months out, a year out, five years out, to call back to you. And invite that energy into those pockets of your identity, seen or unseen, known or unknown into your physical body, the habits of a healthy person, of your divine health, the identity of a person that believes in themselves, that feels good about themselves, that speaks kindly to themselves, the identity of an emotional person that can run through their emotions, handle their emotions, manage their emotions, without stuffing, hurting, fluffing, or bypassing. I'm a person that is an authority of their lives, that knows their worth, that stands in their worth, that offers their worth, that shares their worth, that serves with joy and peace and gratitude in the world, and is served, receives, feel that, love that part of you. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of you. Call it back home. Call yourself home. Choose you. Aligning and tuning with this identity. You're amazing you your amazing self, your next level you, you 2024 you, claim you, own you, love you, embody you. Feeling this anchor from your heart down through your solar plexus, through your guts, knowing yourself digesting your life claiming hmm getting ideas of new habits new ways of being new support what resources are you stepping into maybe there's a class you want to take support that you want to get claim it own it love it love you you are enough <sighs> claiming it into your mind creating new thoughts new awarenesses new peace new joy new love new ideas you can follow through and recognizing those old beliefs those old neural transmitters those neural pathways that show up that you're ready to go up go recognize that and go oh yeah that's the stream i went down that was empty or that had a block that's i'm not going to go down that way be able to say no be able to give yourself boundaries no hope claim it claim it that is the action Right? That is the action of building self-trust. If you need accountability to do that, do it. What resources do you need? Claim it. What emotions do you want to feel more? How are you feeling in this new identity? What do you do to create those feelings? How do you think to create those feelings? What do you share to create those feelings? Know it. Own it. Do it. Seeing who you are around, what your space is like. What your space is like, claim it, own it. This is your reality. If you're in anybody else's reality, send them back their own power. They got their own reality. Oh, we all have our own reality. We can support, we can see, we can witness, we can validate, we can help. 
You cannot change anybody else's reality until they're ready to change it. Hmm. Give them back their energy and call back your own anchor, anchor, anchor into this. Coming back to this moment. Renewed and refreshed. Anything else that's ready to be released, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend now. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend now. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend now. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Feeling God's source coming through your crown. You are a divine being. Invite your soul self back. If any trauma has removed your soul self from your being, reclaim your body. If you've come into this lifetime and this is your first time embodied, claim your body now. Claim this experience now so you can get the most from it now. Claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it. Owning. You are the master of your home, your beautiful house, <laughs> your body. <laughs> Don't let anybody come into it without, without a good, um, <laughs> good references <laughs> and willing to uh, respect you and, and uh, pay and and all of that great stuff, right? See your value, see your worth. So true, right? Own it. See your worth, see your that clean house. Take good care of you. Feed yourself, water your plants. Take good care of you. Speak kindly to yourself. Speak kindly. Feel good. Surround yourself with feel good stuff. Feel that love, that light, the joy that you are. Come into this moment whenever you're ready. Take a nice big stretch and you can open up your eyes if they're not opened already. Receiving this activation, it will continue to embody shifting and changing things for as long as it takes until it is there. Until you've received it all, just say yes. Just say yes and God's source will continue to help you step into the embodiment of your next level self your new identity and so it is and so it is and so it is i would love to know your experience of this if you would like to come through this whole clarity practice going through each of your six personal power zones and really embodying this so you have more ease, more love, more joy, really shifting your identity. We're doing a Rediscovering Me workshop. It is online. It is $47. Today is the last day for it to be $47. It is, um, the link is underneath my bio, also at lishaantica.com. All three days, 15 powerful, powerful hours of practice we're going to go through the entire amazing you practice there's a lot of bonuses in there um, definitely sign up today if you're thinking about it if you've been following me for a long time or if you've just met me it will be worth it i promise you i am amazing <laughs> ask the people that have been following me if you haven't um and it's based off of the Amazing You program, which is an identity practice, helping people heal from um, CPTSD and DBT and um, trauma. So even if you haven't had trauma, it is powerful. But if you have had trauma, it is life-changing. Michaela, beautiful, welcome. I hope that you join me the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Patrick, please join me and all of us. It's gonna be on Zoom. Yes, yes, Melinda, powerful pain in left hip and shoulder, next to left released. Yes, I love that. Yes, 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 yes. Michaela, welcome to the family. Thank you for the follow. So beautiful. So, so beautiful, Laura, welcome. Welcome, welcome. You'll be added to my email list. Julie join everyone. Julie's going. Yes, Julie joined. Yes. Laura, welcome. Thank you. Shane, welcome. Melinda, welcome. Yes, I hope to get to know you more personally, all of you. Ashley, welcome. 
Um, how are you, Ashley? Just missed it, but they'll be, I'm um, in this activation, Ashley will be in um, Unstoppable Confidence, okay? Um, on the Facebook page, I'm gonna download it and upload it. So Ashley will also be there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we just finished. But it's okay. In a few days. You can you can do it anytime though. Patrick, that is up to you. But anytime. I hope that you join the event. Even if you can just come two days, it's gonna be super powerful. And right now it is. Open, 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 super discounted. Early bird specials still there till tonight. Then the price goes up. Still the price is only the price of one hour working with me privately, <laughs> the whole event. So still gonna be a great deal. You're off for the event? Yes, Stacy. yes. Good. It's going to be wonderful. Who else is going? Who else is going to um, Rediscovering Me from Survival to Thriving? We're going to walk through this identity shift in a big way. I feel like pulling an angel card, so we're going to do so. Vicki, Welcome. Thanks you all for joining us for this beautiful activation. What else happened for you guys? What did you notice through the activation? Ooh, my jaw's shifting. Interesting. Oh, Patrick, good love. Just imagine what we can do in three days. Just imagine. This was 90 minutes. Imagine three days. Okay, three days. You're resourceful. You can figure it out. 47 bucks till midnight. Up there, three whole days. Powerful, amazing you workshop. Rediscovering me. All right. Whew. So we got Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Oh, yes, that's for us, guys. That is for us. That is for us. I'm gonna do one more for everybody. <laughs> so funny. Anything else come up with anchor it knowing that what we did today Pam will be there yay um, what we did today it's gonna be there oh James so you're waiting for your card to come in Oh, so we need to change that on multiple levels then. And um, and you're not going to do two, two, two. Yeah, I'll honor you. Thanks for telling me. So you get the 47. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I got you, boo. I got you. You won't have to pay full price. I got you. You just told me. You just told me you went in. Julie, I know. Oh, you can't wait to meet Pam, too? Yes, I know. She's amazing. Yes, James, absolutely. You know I'm good like that. The communication, I'll work. I'll work with anybody. All right. So the last card. 2024. So we enter into that. 
This is for all of us. I'm the Ooh! I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. It's the 12th, 13th, and 14th. When you go to the registration page, it's $47 today, Pam. Um, yeah, it's $47 today, then it's going to go up to 222 So make sure to get in. Kristen, you're joining, right? I haven't seen you come through, but you're going to be there, correct? Yes, the money will be there. So come and transform with us. The 12th, 13th, and 14th. That's why I said, um, you guys, when you join today, part of the early bird specials, you do 45, you do the 47 and you get to bring somebody for free. Okay, so you get a gift that to them. 